Scarlet, show your fashions today. Grandma took you shopping since you're running out of all your newborn clothes. Cute little hoodie with a giraffe and all these flowers and the matching flower detail. Oh, looking good, kiddo. Looking good, even with your cross eyes. <laughs> even when you go cross-eyed, still pretty. Does it taste good? That's how you know it's good quality. What do you think? Delicious? Um, hmm. Get another taste. Cutie patootie. Okay, I'm running a million errands, but the weirdest thing just happened to me, so I had to grab my camera and turn it on. I am at Taco Time, um, picking up a meal for my mom, and while I was like at the little ordering thing, this guy walked up at through the drive-thru. This guy walked up and leaned against the like talkie box part and just stared at me. I, I don't know what he was doing. Then his phone rang, so he turned to answer his phone and started to walk away, and I happened to have my camera in my lap, so I picked it up and vlogged him walking away for a second. I have no idea. I don't know if he was gonna hit on me. I don't know. I, I don't know what he wanted. <laughs> he didn't look homeless. <laughs> he had a really nice smartphone. Okay, so that's one. Two, I just got done getting my mom's birthday cake from the store, and I thought about how I never really realized that as a new mom, I was gonna hate putting away grocery carts so much. I mean, I hated putting away grocery carts in the first place because nobody wants, you know, you get your groceries loaded up in your car and you're totally done and you're tired. And then you have to go walk the little cart back to its little parking cubby in the lot. But now I don't wanna walk 30 yards away from my baby who I just put in my car. So I used to feel all sheepish if I didn't put it away properly. And now I'm kind of like adamant about, you know, sort of getting it rigged up on the curb and not leaving my child alone in the car. Um, also, butterflies are really disgusting. I'm listening to NPR and they talked about how butterflies feast on blood, sweat, and tears and how they get really drunk and sometimes they can't even fly because they're so drunk. I don't really understand how that happened. It was like fruit pectin or something. And lastly, whenever the Beeble stirs and I have to talk in the car to reassure her I'm still here, I find myself saying the silliest stuff and calling her the silliest names. Like she cried a little bit when I got in the car after I picked up the cake, and I was like, it's okay, love cups. <laughs> I roll my eyes at me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah,